Hey guys, Captain Figurine back with another video for our weapon series. Today with the AVS-36, the first semi-auto rifle that was issued to the basic Soviet units as it is also available in game for each class that can use rifles and you unlock it on level 27 in the Battle of Moscow campaign. It was designed by Sergei Gravilovich Simonov in 1931 and saw production from 1936 till 1940. It was produced in big numbers, but just until the SYT-38 was available to replace and stop the production of the AVS-36. They produced approximately 65,000 of these guns. Nice fact, the model that got shown had a 90 degree foldable bayonet to be used as kinda tripod or something like that, but it was not included on the final model, but still nice to know. The weapon had some flaws to it, and I think the Soviet army was more than happy to replace it with, with the SYT as soon as possible. The auto fire was very uncontrollable and even the big heavy muscle didn't help on that one. It was super noisy and expensive to produce, which they realized during the production. The AVS-36 was a gas operated gun and we can see the little screw for the gas adjustment at the front of the gun. The muzzle, cleaning rod and the front sign arrangement looks very accurate to the real gun. And also a very nice detail on this gun is the drilled barrel. We can see it if we take a very close look uh, from the front. We can see the 15 round curved magazine, the magazine release button which he kind of presses while reloading. It is also reloadable from the top with a Mosin clip. On the trigger and trigger guard we can also see the weapon safety that blocks the trigger from operating. Bolt and receiver look very good and we can also see the switch for auto and semi-auto at the end there. The default setting in-game is by the way semi-auto. And now my favorite part of the gun, the wooden stock. The scheme on it looks very nice. The tone is perfect and the slightly used up markings at the end of the stock really finishes it off. I just love it. They did a great job on the overall design, but now let's take a closer look at the in-game stats. It uses a 7.62mm cartridge and has a hit power of 12, so easy one shots on close range. On 100 plus meter it drops slightly under 10 damage, so if you really want to max the potential of this gun you want to get the extra 15% damage on a maxed out gun. It has a muscle velocity of 815 and fires 550 to 660 rounds per minute. But as seen before, the auto fire is hard to control, so you will find yourself using it more often on semi auto. Reload time 2.7 seconds, so quite fast, but a heavy recoil with 78 vertical and 27 horizontally. The real weight was closer to 4 kg than the generic 5 kg we have for each and every rifle in game. It has an overall length of about 1 meter and 26 cm with a barrel length of about 61.5 cm. So as a final conclusion I think the AVS-36 is a strong weapon to use on any rifleman. But it competes with the SYT-38 and it really goes down to personal preference. But the auto fire might be useful in some situations. So maybe you want to equip some of your soldiers with the AVS-36 while others carry the SYT-38. The weapon can operate on a lot of different ranges so keep that in mind. I hope this video was useful to you guys and I see you next time. Have a good one. Captain Figurine out.